Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Today is a Sephora haul. So excited, this is my very first Sephora haul. This is actually the first time that I bought this many products from Sephora. Um, as we all know, Sephora is pretty, um, has the higher end brands and your girl is a TJ Maxx fan so I get most of my stuff from TJ Maxx but I did decide to go to Ulta I mean Ulta what? I did decide to go to Sephora to pick up some products that I have honestly just been dying to try like these are like staples I feel like in the beauty community and I haven't tried them yet so I really want to experience the good stuff you know so I have a few of those products here and when I show them to you you'll probably you'll probably put together who the um, beauty gurus that I learned about these products from are but I will be saying whose channels I seen the product on also while I'm pulling it out if you're interested in seeing all the goodies that I got from my Sephora then please keep on watching first product in my goodie bag is Okay, is a foundation. Now let's do a little guessing game, see if you guys can guess it. It's a foundation. There was a lot of controversy when this foundation first came out. I think just by saying that, that should give it away. I guess at first they were getting a lot of backlash about their shade range. There was very little for very light skin, very little for darker skin, and a whole bunch for the tan. Tan? Tan like medium, like medium beige lots for the middle since then they have expanded their range i will say that i just i personally don't like that feeling of feeling left out especially if it's um a big beauty brand and it's it's in beauty you know everyone deserves to feel beautiful so i'm very happy that they came out with more i think that you know not everyone's perfect going with brands as well. I think that as long as they learn from it and grow from it, then everyone deserves a second chance. Let's get back on topic. Okay, so yeah, if you didn't guess already, <laughs> it is the <laughs> Bounce Foundation by Beauty Blender. Um, it says it's a liquid whip long wear foundation. Now, I did see this on a few different main beauty guru channels, such as Tati, Tati Westbrook. I love watching her channel. She's very, to me, I feel like she's very honest and she gives her opinion in a very nice way. You know, even if she doesn't like something, she's not like, oh my God, I hate these people. Like, how dare you, you know, like, I love her sense of humor as well. So if you haven't already, check her out. Love her page. She uploads, I think she cut back on her uploading, but she's still very consistent. Another person that I found this on was Jeffree Star. I'm sure everyone has heard of Jeffree Star. If you haven't, you should. Because just like Tati, he is very honest, in my opinion, this is all in my opinion, um, very honest with his reviews, with just life in general. And I can really appreciate honest people, especially in today's world, like, I need some honest people in my life, you know what I mean? So I love watching their reviews because they keep it 100. Like, they don't like it, they'll say it. They did a review on it, and if I'm not mistaken, they have reached for it. Um, I know Tati has. I'm pretty sure Jeffrey reached for it a few more times in different videos. You really like the formula. Like, it lasted really nicely throughout the day and so did Tati. Tati has reached for it I think multiple times in videos since then so I I mean if those two do reach for a product more than once then I'm pretty sure it's really amazing. I had to give it a try. In Sephora I did get shade matched so that I didn't buy the wrong color because as we all have I'm sure at least once. Mine's has been a lot more than once but we've all bought the wrong color and we all have shades that are too dark and too light for us so i didn't want that to happen with this one i wanted to be able to actually use it have really have a um, good experience with it so i did get shade 3.30 if you're not sure about your color you can always go to your sephora 
and ask you can always ask the Sephora workers to shade match you and then they'll just put like little bits around your face and they'll help you out so you're not just standing there guessing or you know standing there for like half an hour just looking at them beauty blender foundation was forty dollars which for a foundation i don't think that's that bad i've seen other ones be a bit pricier but um it's definitely not the cheapest like drugstore um but hopefully it's better quality i will let you guys know okay next product in my goodie bag is so I'm pretty sure you've seen this on probably any beauty channel that you've watched or heard about it at least, but I still have never tried it. So I figured what the hey, we're trying it today. Hey, that rhymed. But I didn't want to get the mini um, because I know it's going to be good. So I got the regular size. It's the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is not the glow one maybe i'll try it next time but i want to get this one for sure first because i know that a lot of people use this and like it and love it and rave about it so i had to give this one a shot and try it out and see what the big deal is you know what i mean because the powders i have now i just haven't found one that i really love yet so i was like hello just go for the one you know everybody else loves so give that a try and that was $39 next a little bit bougie no I'm just kidding the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze the coconut one the coconut perfect tan okay and if you don't know the person that uses this a lot is Manny MUA oh he's so funny like I love watching his videos and I have to say like his bronzer always looks like really nice and it's coconut I'm obsessed like I've always loved coconut and the packaging is to die for look at this just a sleek it's a really nice bronzer oh and it does smell like coconut I'm really excited like it smells luxurious like it's a luxury coconut okay smell like a regular coconut it smells like a luxurious coconut like this comes with 0.8 ounces so it's pretty it's kind of a lot I usually use my Smashbox photo focus is that what it's called photo focus I don't know I usually use my Smashbox bronzer um, it has 0.29 ounces so this will definitely last me quite some time which I love especially for the price point okay this this was a little bit more on the pricier side for sure $49 $49 for a bronzer I mean but it is a lot of products so I mean I don't think it's that bad and this one's like coconut so priceless I'm just kidding <laughs> but uh, like I'm just excited to give it a try and see how well it performs on my face because I do like bronzing it up I didn't bronze today but uh, we'll just see how it looks on my face. I did get another um, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. Um, I just needed a refill of that because I was running out, and I really love, I really love these pencils. But if you're wondering, it is twenty-one dollars. This one I did get the mini because I just wanted to try it out. It is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. It's a twenty-four karat gold infused beauty oil. And I've seen people use this on their lips, um, on their face, before putting on any makeup. I wanted to try out the the blurring one, but they didn't have a mini size of it. And I wanted to figure, I figured I would try this one first and see if I like um, oils. Because uh, I don't really use oils on my face because I'm kind of like oily here. I'm, I have like combination skin. I'm like oily here, but then my face is dry. It's like dry as a desert. Very frustrating. But I wanted to try this out and give it a try. Be fancy with it. But this is Farsali Mini is $22. And I'm pretty sure this will last a long time. Um, unless I really like it, then it'll probably be gone in an instant. But this one has 0 .34, 0 .34 fluid ounces. So very excited to give that a try. Hopefully next time I can try the blurring one. With the foundation, I did get this 
Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. That is a tongue twister. But it's just their new puff. It's like a dual-sided powder puff. Dual-sided powder puff. It's a dual-sided powder puff. Try and saying that five times fast, okay? It's difficult. I'm always trying to find new tools to help my makeup look better. So I want to give this a try and see how it makes my skin look with the foundation, with the Beauty Blender foundation. Oh, the powder puff was, it was $15, $15. Kind of pricey for a puff, but. And the last product is the most expensive product. It is a product that I've literally seen so many times and have not tried it, okay? I haven't tried it because it is pricey. From what I've heard about it, I mean, it'll be worth it completely. And if I use like the right amount, you know, it should last me a while. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas, baby. Now, I've seen this on Manny's channel. I've seen this on, of course, Jeffree Star's channel. Who else? I've seen it on, I've seen it on some, like, all the beauty channels that I've watched. They all like, they all use this. And I'm excited. I'm looking for a really good primer because apparently either it's the foundations I've been using or the primer, which I'm pretty sure it's the primer. And just my nose has been acting up lately. My pores around my nose have just been hating me lately. So... Yeah, I'm really hoping that this will help. Oh my god. Look at the little box that it comes in. That is cute. This is luxury. This is luxurious, okay? Oh look, it even has the little tab. It has a little it has a little tab to pull it out of the box. I just opened it backwards, so of course. Yeah. It comes with a little like instruction pamphlet thing and then this is what it looks like it's in like a case thing let's see oh geez something fell out oh and it has like a little has like a little message in the box oh okay i think this is the scooper i think it's like a scooper for when you use the product i think this is like maybe you measure it there's like a line on it i'm just guessing i'm thinking you just like Okay. Look, it's like all sealed up and everything. This is legit. Like, I'm excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. I actually have the freaking silk canvas. Okay, and here she is. I will probably keep this component. What it looks like I don't even want to touch it it's so perfect it smells fancy I'm excited I'm excited to use that like look at this I'm keeping the whole box and everything I'm keeping it now the price if you did not know for the Tatcha Silk canvas is 52 some macaroonies $52 is kind of a lot of money on one beauty product, but I think it's going to be worth it. Okay, so that is all the goodies that I got from my Sephora. It's a total of seven products, okay? I just, I just seen the price again and I totally forgot how much it cost. So seven products plus the bag fee because you have to pay for bags now. I don't know if they do that where you're from but we have to pay for our bags like 15 cents but um so all of that together cost a total of $238.15 now that may not be a lot to some of you but that's a lot for me but I'm excited I, mama deserves it okay like okay all the moms out there you guys deserve a shopping spree every once in a blue moon okay and don't feel bad about it no mom guilt here you deserve it okay 
So plus the Hawaii sales tax, which is $11.22, my total, total, total that I paid was $249.37. Now I have to stay away from the malls, stay off my phone, no more online shopping. Probably not though, uh, let's be honest. Anyways, that's it for this haul. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, like always. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell to get notified every time I upload a video, to see more hauls, to see more weird stuff. I don't know. I wanna try and incorporate my family a little bit more on my channel. If you're a mom, um, I want to do like a little mom series or like mom story time just so that you don't feel alone because as a especially as a stay at home mom or stay at home parent it can get kind of lonely sometimes and you may feel you know you feel like you're the only one dealing with stuff so I do want to bring that more into my channel and incorporate being a mom and everything um, here as well. So if you're interested in that, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below what your favorite product is from this haul and what else I should try so I can go back. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here and until next time, guys. Bye.